I'm Debbie Statler, Editor-in-Chief of Provider Magazine, and today I'm joined by Melissa Morgan, Clinical Resource Manager for Medline Industries. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Well, Melissa, we know that the treatment of skin breakdown is time-consuming, especially with an already stressed workforce, and it requires staff having to spend more time treating skin wounds with less staff. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. At Medline, we understand that staffing challenges have been and continue to be a struggle post-pandemic. And we're really striving to push prevention forward because as you mentioned, wound treatment takes far longer than prevention. You know, on average, when you think about wound treatment in itself, you're looking at 15 to 30 minutes for a clinician to perform one dressing change. You multiply that by multiple wounds throughout the day, multiple patients, multiple residents, and you can see how that's gonna take really a majority of the time outside of the rest of their responsibilities. So again, pushing prevention, that's gonna cut that time in half. Not as only gonna save, save staff time, but it's also going to drive better patient resident outcomes. In addition to that, when you think about staff turnover, a big part of that is you know, morale. And when you have a patient or a resident develop a wound under your care, that can really take a psychological toll on staff. So driving prevention, having that philosophy is really going to help with confidence and staff morale. I love that, focusing on prevention to help ease the treatment burden. Absolutely. Well, what is Medline doing to help guide customers in this process? So at Medline, we've really taken a holistic approach to make skin health management second nature. And this includes a system of products and really three pillars. And it focuses on people, process and products. And we've really designed our system of products to be intuitive to caregivers. So it takes the guesswork out of their day-to-day -day doings. They don't have to think about when to use a product or how to use a product. In addition to that, we have several programs. Um, this, and they're champion programs that focus on not only licensed nursing staff, but nursing assistants as well. And this is gonna help build a strong framework for knowledge about skin health, and wound care management. We also develop guidelines, and these are all based around the customer's product formulary. So again, easy for clinicians to follow on a day-to-day -day basis. And then lastly, we, we like to integrate technology. So apps that help drive preventative measures based upon a patient's uh, risk, a resident's risk factors, it helps drive the clinician to the appropriate preventative interventions. I love that, it's thorough, and yet it integrates quickly into processes, products, and things that the providers already have. Well, tell us more about the programs that Medline offers. So when we speak to customers across the country, when we speak to organizations, clinicians at the bedside, what we find most challenging for them is how to operationalize a prevention-first approach, especially when it comes to skin health. And when we talk about skin health, the building blocks of that should really be routine moisturization, and our preventative barrier products. So today I'd like to offer our top five tips on how to operationalize a good skin health preventative program. And number one is looking at data analytics. Ask yourself as an organization, where are we in terms of our incidence of skin breakdown and where do we want to be? What is our goal? What is our benchmark? After you've established that, take a look back and look at your you know, product usage, your product spend, and ask yourself, are we using enough product? Are we using the right product? What do we need to change to drive better outcomes? And that's also gonna help you understand where this, the knowledge gap of your staff might be. And that sort of leads into to point number two, and that's education. And I know it sounds simplistic, but really we need to start thinking about just getting back to the basics. And we should be empowering not just our staff, but our patients, our residents, and their family members in terms of what good looks like for skin moisturization, skin health. So when we talk about staff, let's just start with, again, the very, the basics, right? So what products should, be, should they be using? How much should they be using? How often should they be using it? And the why behind it. I think that gains a lot of leverage with staff understanding the why behind what it is we're doing. And then when we talk about patients, residents, family members, we often hear from our customers that family members are bringing in products for their loved ones. So lotion is a big one that they bring in. And when we talk about routine moisturization, that's a key piece of prevention. So we suggest empowering them as well. 
you can leave tent cards at the bedside and really just outlining what good moisturization looks like. What quality ingredients should we be looking for in a moisturizer? How often it should be applied to their loved one? And this is gonna help you know, educate them and have them be a part of that plan of care. Number three is looking at product accessibility. We wanna make sure that our products are at the point of care for our staff. Again, making it easier for them to do their day-to-day their -day work. So we recommend, for one example, you know, putting large product dispensers in the shower rooms or the patient resident rooms. We say take it a step further and mount some medicine cups nearby and you might be wondering, well, why a medicine cup, Melissa? So when we look at evidence-based guidance in terms of routine moisturization, the recommendation is one ounce per application for the average adult size body and a medicine cup equates to that. So again, you have your moisturizer there in a pump size dispenser, you have your medicine cup, easy for the clinician to access, making their life, their job a lot, a lot simpler. Then visual reminders, right? We all like visual cues. Sometimes we forget throughout the day what we're supposed to be doing. So how to posters, you know, how should we be moisturizing? How should we be taking care of the skin? And these posters, we can hang them up in, in shower rooms uh, in patient resident rooms, nursing stations. So just again, something to remind staff of, this is what sh we should be using, this is how often, this is when. Another neat thing is badge buddies. I mean, we all, we all carry badges on us throughout the day. So if a staff member forgets you know, what they should be using or how they should be using it, they can simply flip it over and, and the information's right there. And lastly is integrating it into a systematic approach taking an approach that's very repeatable. And as clinicians, you know, we like structure. Um, we oftentimes create a routine that we follow throughout the day. And it makes sure we've checked all of our boxes, you know, X, Y, and Z. And we follow that if, if all allows. And so integrating that type of system into moisturization, hardwiring that process is really gonna help drive consistent results. For example, we heard from one customer, they have what's called a get-up routine. And this is from a, a customer at a skilled nursing home. And the get-up routine consists of everything they need to do with that resident. Mm -hmm. So any interventions, any tasks that they need to do with the resident before bringing them out of the room for the day. So a good way is, you know, implement the, the routine skincare, the routine moisturization into that get-up routine. And you're gonna ensure that it's never missed throughout the day because we know it was done you know, first thing in the morning or first thing at the start of shift. So taking some of those tips and really driving, again, that prevention first approach, operationalizing it at the bedside is gonna go a really long way with, with overall outcomes. So tell us more about how people can learn more about Medline's programs and processes. Absolutely, so you can either contact your local Medline rep or if you wanna visit medline.com backslash skin health. Um, we have a ton of information and you guys can get into contact with us that way. Wonderful. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thank you.